groundwork and foundation is what makes a musician and an artist true to the art. Absolutely. Now, let me ask you a question, and then we're going to go into your background. Because you kind of talked about it, and I want to go back there. What is hip-hop? To me? Or just a regular, or just putting it out there? Keep it, keep it real, it's your interview. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you, gotcha. you want. I mean, hip hop to me is is hip hop to me is a culture. You know, Explain. it's like um, it's like going to church. Ooh. You know, every Sunday, like you go to church every Sunday when you're little because your parents tell you to mm. at first, not because you believe in it. You know, and then repetition. You go in there all the time forces you to go there on a regular basis. So you're there every Sunday now. And you're around people who do the same thing as you. So, like, hip hop to me is no different. You got your deacons, you got this, you got that, you got your MCs, you got the hype men, you got this, producers. It all correlates together. It's like hip hop to me is a belief. It's more like a, it's a culture, it's a, like, it's a way of life. It's, Hip hop literally is like, it's just, it's what you make of it. It's just like, like love. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's just like love. Like you can love many things, but you could be in love with one thing. You okay. Know what I mean? Let's get a little deeper, because the root word of culture is cult, and that is purveyor of life given by tradition and rules. So hip hop has to have a set of rules and traditions that make it what it is. I believe hip hop has nothing to do with none of that shit. I believe hip hop is spiritual because exactly. everything that we use to produce music comes from God. Period. Yeah. Your heart works on by what? Blood, oxygen, rhythm. beat, rhythm. beat, rhythm, and that's how we make our tracks. Mm -hmm. When you walk, you walk in. You walk in rhythm. Walk in beat steps. Steps, and that's what we write our notes in. Yes. Right. Yep. When our systems are in order, they work in perfect harmony. And what is that? equalization so everything flows fluently so then if god is hip-hop we are the manifestation of his creativity through rhythm and you got this flag that you fly you say yeah your, your dad is haitian yeah okay now i went deep into that and why everybody go 1804 and all that other stuff shout out to them shout out to you i'm not touching that i'm going to touch drum patterns and vocal inflection because if you have clean music, you got to understand how to separate the vocals and the layer of the drum. How does your cultural background create the ear that creates the sound that you define as hip hop? Okay, that's crazy because I kind of do use my island influence with like the hip hop that I create, that's especially in the clean. beginning stages. Yeah, mm -hmm. because I, I was around bands, so it was like musical separation was something that I was around because everybody played an instrument. Mm -hmm. Everyone played their own thing. So now one dude would be on the set, would be on a hi-hat like, sorry, be on a hi-hat like hitting his foot on the kick. Another dude would be playing the piano, you know what I'm saying? And another dude would be playing this or engineering that and mixing this and mixing that. So now I get to hear the sound separately. Like, hey, that note is off. Play that, play that sound back for me. Then I can hear the bass like Alright, yo, yo, let me hear that drum breakdown. Even in school, like, you know, when you're in school and you're in band class, it's like, there are certain classes for certain instruments, you know what I mean? Like, you're playing a saxophone, you're reading sheet music, you know, you're working on that piece, you know what I mean? Meanwhile, you're not paying attention to what the drummer's doing, you're not paying attention to nobody, you're working on your piece. So now, when it comes together, it's all like, okay. It's not just a song. It's all. It's, it's also about. Did you do your homework? Did you actually learn this? You know what I mean. And mm -hmm. has it. And, and will it sound right if we put everybody together? That I just use that every day. Like any sound. It, I I think with a band mentality when I produce. You know what I mean. Like I think of like if I have a kick, this, that, that. I think of. I try to think of the whole beat separate. I'll think of a piano key, think of a bass line, think of this before I even put it together. And then I see if it goes. Like, the ghetto song. Remember, it started out with a bass line in my head. I was listening to, um, I was listening to, uh, like, like, doom, doom, doom. 
dun, 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 dun. I was listening to Rapper's Delight. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. I was also listening to um Dun 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 I was also listening to um Dun 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 Right? So now I'm in my head like damn Pro- like to be a, a real producer as opposed to like even a musician like you got to be able to take from the goats and recreate in your own way like there's no reinventing the wheel but you can make the wheel better you know what i'm saying so i came up with my own baseline like see still got the same feels both of them Crazy. I call it musical manipulation. You know what I mean? But the art, once again, is very cultural. And what I love about hip hop, because like when I went to Puerto Rico and all these other places, I don't go to the beach first. Everybody goes to the ladies, right? But I don't go to the beach first. I want to get the pulse of the people. So when I was in Puerto Rico, where they had the little Riot, and I'm taking pictures of the graffiti, looking at all that, and I'm gonna talk to people, right? And then when you talk to the po- when you get the post of the people, you got the culture and the music in mind, right? And one thing I can say about people of Latin culture and people of island culture is this: the band is the representation of the people. I don't care if you listen to whatever, like Aruba, Compa, you listen to um, Hector Lavoe, you yeah, listen Lavoe. to uh, Lee Cologne. Um, I mean, when you listen to that, go ahead, you got something in mind that you want to bring yeah, up? Yeah, I was thinking about, um, what's that dude, man? Uh, I see, there was Hector Lavoe, um, Ray Louise. Okay, I gotta get up on that. Yeah. But when you listen to that, even the songs you know about and the music <laughs> pulls you in because though the pain, the struggle, the hardship, the captivity is what brings them together. The music makes that dance, that pain away, and it brings out the proudness of identity, and that's what hip hop's missing. Right. So when I hear J Varsity's music, I hear a representation of culture that defines not the the pain of what's missing in hip hop; it's the promise of what hip hop can deliver. Mm. How do you match that production lyrically, since you rhyme as well? Well, what I do is uh, well. I started out, like I said, po- poetically, you know what I mean? And I had a cousin, you know what I mean? He was like, stupid nice, lyrically, you know what I mean? I always wanted to like one-up him, you know? It was always competition, which is cool. You're supposed to have that. But then it came to the point in which I'm like, you know what? Maybe if I can't provide the punchlines like you do, I can outwit you in other ways with flow, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, Anybody will listen to your record, even if it's not the most lyrical, if you ride the beat. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If you can ride a beat, you're, you can, that's what they're doing now. They're just riding beats. They're not even saying anything. Not even, because sometimes when you hear a song on the radio, and the radio is supposed to be the representation of the mainstream, right. sometimes their voices don't even match the beat, and it's two different tracks. Right. Yeah, 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 And yeah, I yeah, hate yeah, that. Yeah. I hate that. That's and, my, true. And, and the one person who shows me that, no, it's five of them, but fuck them all. But the one that the one that really um comes to my mind right now that's very popular in his pocket is like Blueface. Yeah, Blueface yeah. will he's not the, yeah. ride the track. Oh, he will no. not even match the track. You know, he's the same. He's his the own track. Twenty twenty. But look at Casanova. He do the same shit. Think about it. Yeah. Casanova have a beat, but he'll like and it takes away from harmony. True. Go ahead, say what you're gonna say, cause I gotta pull up a song that you did that made me think about that. Go ahead, though. I I I I agree, mm-hmm. but sometimes I gotta look at it like that's him. You know what I mean? Like that's his thing, that's his style. That's 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 what he brings to the table. That's what they love. Apparently, I can't knock anyone that's... No, we're not gonna knock him. No, no, no. But I'm saying you're right because it's, I know exactly what you're talking about. You're talking about that. Everything on the damn thing. I'm damn in the air pocket and then the beat and then yeah. the voice and then the air pocket. Exactly. Yeah. Because that that's that's what they do it now. But the thing the Southerners do it, but you said it best. You, the reason why they're so good at it is because they fill in that pocket, even if it's with silly ad libs. That's why Migos is such a popular group down there. 
they fill in the spaces with with anything. Like, how about the block and whack? Whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it, That's an ad lib. He said three words. How about the trap? I'm gassing. Whip it, 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 but that's a, it was just, just the hook, but that's a vibe track, and that's the difference. Now he I gotta ask you, beat. I gotta ask you a hip hop nerd question. Then, to me, I think the hit, the Amigos, is the new generation representation of Run DMC, because all it is is cadence and ad lib. Doing it time, time. You want it, uh, uh. You want to be down with the kid, like. DMC I, 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 I jacked that. And, I understand. Then, I understand why you said that. And Thank then you. the masters of the ad lib, they can't even get there because MOP writes rhymes with ad libs in the rhyme book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they yeah, have yeah, mastered yeah, 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 yeah. the ad lib. Yeah. But like you said, to ride the beat is not making love to the beat. Mm. It's not like remember drum line where he's like make love to the beat. Yeah, love, yeah, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. But when you understand what he's talking about, it's become one with the sound. Mm -hmm. Tell me about way too blessed, because I love that track. Way too blessed, way too blessed. That's the. Um, you said that's too old, but I gotta start where I, I got. I, I, I can get you know. Listen, you might have to refresh in my memory. Oh, don't do that. Way too blessed. Heritage Hip Hop has stopped the creator on his Ooh. own creations. <laughs> Teachings. <laughs> the creator is like Cassidy. Five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> but what I like about Way Too Blessed. I'm Way Too Blessed to care about what I hate to say. That's what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, come, on, come on, come on, come Aha. on. Aha. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, that record, uh, I was in Atlanta. I was going through some, um, I was going through some real trial tribulation at that time. Mm -hmm. Um, I was, um, I was in a group. You know what I mean? Everything was was peachy at first, you know, as it always is, and like. You know, you get you go through your setbacks, you know what I'm saying? And it was like there were some things that were said that I wasn't able I was in Atlanta, I wasn't in New York to you know what I mean? And then I was going to retaliate, but then I thought about it, so you know what, I'm too blessed to care about what a haters say. Bam. And that's how that record came came about. But not what the record is about, it's the feeling of the record. Oh, yeah. See, one thing that people who will listen to your music, if they really are into music, will find out, you have music that feels rather than is heard. Right, And right. the thing that makes an artist good, uh, I touched the nerve over here, I see, I touched the nerve <laughs> over here. One thing that's, like, like when you heard Cream. That's my joy. You felt it. Every word. Even if Ghostface was making up words. What up? I mean, what up? <laughs> <laughs> Every but yo, word. But yo, oh, Ghostface, shout out to even, Ghostface. Even, but, but look, I'm a Jersey head, so, you know, yeah, Wu-Tang. Hulu, whatever, pay me. But we we, we we rat man out here. And if you smoke weed, how to roll the blunt put you in some yeah, type of you know what I mean? Oh, listen, man, my man, my man that's, man, that's, that's right his uncle. <laughs> my oh, man that shot videos with red. Okay, yeah. that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. And and I mean, even if you wanted to take it to another level. Music that you feel is better than music that you hear because the appreciation is lifelong. Yeah, you mm. could re put that on repeat. And that's what makes you a special artist because Amen. Jay Vars is not somebody who makes music. He's someone that produces the sound and quality of what music is supposed to be. Amen.